and we have learned that Qigong can be very helpful in the healing process. Uh, we both experience life-threatening illnesses in our lifetime, and Qigong has helped us to overcome them. Namaste. Namaste. And welcome to this very special and powerful lesson on self-healing. So let's get right into it. We separate our legs just a little wider than shoulder width apart, with the knees bent slightly and the toes pointed forward. Feel very relaxed and uh, comfortable in your stance, as if you were truly connected to the earth. So in this session, it's important to understand the meaning of a Chinese word called the yi. Yi can be translated as focused intention or the intention of the mind. So we have to be able to see in our mind's eye the energy coming in from the universe. So the Chinese ancients believed that this qi, this energy, permeated everything in, uh, around us, in the earth, in the heavens, and in every one and every being. So our job here is to take that energy from out there and bring it into us for healing purposes. So let's start by uh, doing some energy tapping to sort of wake up the energy a bit. So we tap with soft fists on the back of the lower spine to start, start with and then come up and down the spine. And then on the sides, we start slapping down and you go down as far as you can and up the inside of the legs. A few extra taps in the groin and then we go down the center of the legs, around the back and up the back. Let's do that again, down the sides, around the inside of the legs and up, and down the front of the legs, and back, and back up to where we're standing. Good job. Let's uh, extend the, uh, the left hand, left arm, with the palm down, and with the right, come up to the shoulder and start slapping down the arms. Turn the lower hand over, and then bring your head to the right as you pat down on the top of your shoulder at the base of your neck. Yeah. So we're waking up the energy here. Let's do it to the right side. Right hand is extended, and we start patting down outside of the arm, up the inside of the arm. Head is bent to the left now, you're patting on your shoulders. Yeah, good, very good. And then with fingertips, we'll pat on the chest, all around the chest, getting that chi stimulated and starting to activate. Good. Next, let's sink and cross the right hand under the left. As you rise up with an in-breath, turn the palms open and out. As you separate, the elbows come down first as you sink again, exhaling down. So it's cross, open, and we're starting to circulate that energy now that we woke up and separate. So we coordinate the movement with the breath. So we inhale up, turn the palms out, hold the breath here, and exhale down. And we do one more. Inhale, circulating this energy. Good job. And when we get down here, Let's open the palms and draw the energy up, over, and down the center, palms facing down. Circulating. 
from bottom to top. Getting that energy to flow throughout our entire body in breath and out breath. Just a couple more. Inhale and exhale. And finally, come up and slowly come down. So the Chinese ancients, the masters from thousands of years ago, have this theory that there are three energy centers that we have to use to heal ourselves. The first is the upper, what they call the upper dantian, it's between the eyebrows. That is for your intellectual health, your brain power, your, your ability to reason, to be logical, maybe to work some math problems, which I couldn't do very well. The second energy center is in the heart area. This focuses on your emotional health, your feelings, and your sensitivity. And then third, is right under the belly button, about two finger widths below your belly button, is the lower dantian for your physical health, your physical well-being. So we have the physical, we have the emotional, and we have the intellectual health. So what we're going to do is gather this healing energy from the universe and focus, use our intention focus the energy into these energy centers. So we're going to lift our arms up, gathering the energy from all around us. And we're going to start by focusing the palms at that upper area called the upper dantian, right between the, the uh, eyebrows there. So the palms of the hands it should be about oh, eight to nine inches away from uh, hands to head. But see if you can use the power of ye, power of focused intention, to visualize sort of a ray of energy coming in through your hands in toward that intellectual center between your eyebrows. Now, sometimes it's good to just pulse that energy, moving the hand slightly in and out, holding your hands there as long as you can. With the intention of making this area of your being well and healthy, your intellectual capabilities. Now, if you get tired, you can do this whole sequence while sitting in a chair just as well. Now we're going to go lowering our hands. We're going to go to the heart center or the middle dantian, which is, as I said, for our emotional health. We focus the palms onto the heart, and I do a little pulsing here as well, bringing health and energy into our heart. See if you can feel the energy coming through from hands this golden ray of light from the hands into the heart for healing and health. And now we move the hands down facing the area just below the belly button. 
holding the hands there, focusing on your physical health, a strong body. And I do a little pulsing here as well, in and out, in and out. I'm imagining that golden light of energy zeroing in on this portion of my body. Good. So we're, we have worked the lower energy center for our physical well-being, the middle center for our emotional well-being, and up here for our intellectual well-being. Next we move on to that same intense focus hands to whatever part of your body may need healing. It could be, say you have a bad, uh, let's say a sore knee. So you could just put your hands toward that area, do a little of the, of the pulsing in and out. Or you could have, uh, say, uh, digestive issues. Same with the, with the belly, just focus your hands on the belly area and in your mind you're seeing that healing energy in the form of a golden ray of light move into the belly area cleansing it detoxifying it making it healthy so you could have a headache you could have uh, some aches and pains so you could feel that you could move your hands around to whatever is ailing you at this time it can even be a life-threatening illness like a, a cancer or a heart problem. So you want to, you can move the hands around, but you want to focus your intention or all of it specifically on each area. If you don't feel you have a particular uh, ailment at this time, you could just leave your hands at the lower dantian or you could practice going from the top, middle, and bottom as we did earlier. Use the mind here, connecting the mind to the body. Now you can keep this going for as long as you are comfortable. You can do this sitting or standing. You can do this any time during the day. But the important thing is that you have to believe that this is working. You have to believe that the chi has healing qualities. I can tell you firsthand, for us, it's been an amazing ride with energy. And for the many, many of our students that have overcome various illnesses, So now it's time to move on. We're going to turn the hands out here and rise overhead, forming a circle overhead. And then we're going to sink slightly down and turn to the right as far as you can, keeping that circle. And then we rise back to center and we turn to the left. And then we come back to center. And then slowly we lower the hands down to about our heart. And then we turn to each side. Exhaling out and inhaling to center. So this little ending is a way to uh, develop what's called a Wei Qi field of energy, sort of a protective field to ward off illness disease, discomfort. And finally, we lower the hands and as if we were gathering all of the energy around us, we come in forming this giant ball in front of us and slowly we bring the energy in toward the lower Dantian, 
So for women, the right hand would come in first, covered by the left. And for men, it's the opposite. So the first hand would come in touching lightly and then covered by the other hand. And finally, we lock the energy in by bringing the elbows back. One final nice breath, inhale, then exhale as the hands come apart. So there you have it. Please give this some attention, this whole set. Practice whenever you feel the need. Also, if you can remember and haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel. Please let your friends know about all the health benefits that uh, uh, our videos present and uh, maybe they can join in and subscribe as well. So we appreciate your coming. We hope you have a very healthy day and a fun day. And we say Namaste. Namaste.